early hours of the morning, before snow all on the ground, just all it out onto the road. We were told that was it. Going to another camp, they told us. What you wanted, you had to take, and of course you weren't strong enough to take a lot. We marched, and we marched. When I say march, it wasn't, it was a struggle. I was on the road for 17 weeks. We marched approximately 900 miles, and we had very, very little food. In a the column there'd be about 800 to 1,000. And there's many of these columns passing through Poland, Germany in those days. It's bitterly cold, temperatures below zero. So when you got in a barn at night time, your, your wet boots used to freeze solid on your feet. We were eating grass, and we were eating leaves. You've heard about hunger, but when people say, I'm starving, you wouldn't realise what starvation is. It's absolutely appalling. We were reduced to the level of animals scavenging for food. Well, this story of the Long March has remained hidden. It is an untold story. It's tales of endurance. It's tales of men who were held in captivity and then faced an uncertain fate. It was only willpower that makes you go, and that, that's all you can say.